Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use some light CSS to add little features here and there in your PyQt5 interface to make it look more appealing and more aesthetically pleasing to the user. So what we're going to do, the focus of this video, will be the following. We're going to create this focus effect on our line edits. So by line edits, we mean this little text box that you can see right here where the user can type in their username and their password. So we're going to create this focus effect and we're going to add a hover effect to our button right here. So this hover effect will change the button's color whenever we hover over it. We will be starting with this interface right here. So this is a completely raw, basic interface. No changes have been made, no styling. This is the plain way that you would get it right out of the widget box from PyQt5 and add it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to transform this one into this one. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this little login label right here. So this is just a label. It's plain text, nothing special about it. It's not going to change or do anything. It's just there for display. What we want to do basically is we're going to change the font and we're going to make this background look this shade of purple to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. So this is not the focus of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed through it and let you know exactly what we did. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a font. We're going to go for maybe about 28 and then we're going to go for the font Arial. So Arial is a pretty popular font. We are going to use it is because it's pretty basic, um, very straightforward, nothing too special about it. Okay, so now we're going to apply. We can see it got a bit bigger. No worries, we'll just increase it um, in a moment. We're gonna make the font color to be white as well. And then we're just going to add a background color. So to make it simpler, if you're not very familiar with CSS, you can go here, add background color, and then just change this color right here. So I'm gonna go for the color with the hex code of 803 and CE0. And that's the shade of purple that we're currently using. All I have to do is just press apply and we're done. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this bigger to match the interface on the right, on the left. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is actually we need to center this login label because you can see that the words are to the left. So what we're going to do is we go here in the property editor and we find here, so the alignment, okay? So the alignment, and we go for align horizontal center. And that's it really, it looks exactly like the one on the left. So this is the first step in transforming our interface. The next step, we're going to transform these two labels right here. So this is a pretty similar process, nothing too special about it again. So we're just gonna go for a font, we're gonna create it for um, with a size of 11 points, and then we're gonna give it the font type Arial. All right, so this is really how we're gonna go with it. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to change the color. So again, we're gonna change this to this 803CE0 color. And now I'm going to apply and it looks exactly like the one on the left. So just make this bigger and that's it. What I can also do is I can just um, copy this style sheet and apply it to the password label as well. Okay, so here we go. Now we have our label set. On to the main part of the video. Now we are going to style this Q line edit that you can see right here. How are we going to style it? We're going to style it the exact way we have styled this one. So if I control R to preview, you can see that this line edit has a, this purple border that you can see right here. And when it is selected, when it is in focus, I'm, that means I am typing stuff inside it, the border turns into this orangey color. So how am I going to do that? First, I have to right click and change style sheet, of course. I'll be styling two things. So I'll be styling the Q line edit right here, and then I'll be styling the Q line edit as well, but when it is in focus. So I will write it like that. So this part right here refers to when, these are the default cases. So nothing's happening um, with no changes. This will be the way it is styled. Whatever I write inside this Q line edit uh, part. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I can give it a background color and the background color that I'm going to give it is this F e F8 EAFF. So this is the lighter purple shade that you can see right here. And then I'm going to give it a border. So the border I'll give it 
is it will be two pixels it will be solid and it will be that same purple color we had before so it will be 803 c e 0 okay so now the very same thing that i have here i want to do the exact same thing when my line edit is focused but i want to change the color so it's as simple as that so i'm going to give it this fba d25 and now if i press apply you can see that it has changed here so let's just say okay save and preview so Control r again and you can see that when it is selected the um the border is this orangey color so i'm just gonna go ahead and also make some other changes to this so now if i can change the style sheet i can make the border radius to be 10 pixels so to make it a bit curved around the edges uh, another thing i can do is i can change the font color so the font color will be this exact same shade of purple right here so the darker purple obviously to have some contrast over the background and i can also change the font family to be Arial again and all of these things will apply in the focus mode as well because this is the default values for it because we haven't made any changes to them at all okay so now i can just press apply you can see that it looks you know more aesthetically pleasing if you preview it you can just type stuff here we could also change the font size if we want to so let's just do that very quickly and just change the font to be 10 points okay now we can just copy and paste the same style sheet for the other line edit since it's the exact same one and we want the exact same effect so that that's really it for using the focus method so the focus method pretty straightforward now if you preview it you can see that whichever you select will change into this orangey color now the last thing we have to do is we have to style this button right here so how are we going to style this button it's actually pretty straightforward as well so i'm just going to right click I'm going to create this Q push button. Again, these will be the default values for everything. And then I will have a Q push button hover. So this will style the hover effect of this button. Okay, so here I'm just going, let's say, do this quickly, add a background color, the same purple that we were doing before. So 803, F, um, sorry, C, E, O. Okay. And now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slightly lighter shade of purple again, because we're actually hovering over it. And I'm going to paste this and just change the color here. So if you just want to add a color without the text, you just press add color. And now what I'm going to do is add the color. So C151F1. So this is the brighter purple that we have. Now I can apply. We can add other styles later. So I preview it. You can see that it changes with the hover so i'm just going to very quickly add some other styling change the border radius make it round around the edges font um, we can also go for a 10 point and then Arial. we can go for color white this should be enough okay and now i can just make it bigger to match the one on the left and that should be it so that's really it for this styling. It was very basic, very simple, but you can see that we already made our UI look much more appealing to the user and much more aesthetically pleasing. So I highly recommend you incorporate these simple changes into your design because they will make your UI look much better and will help you further along the way. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment and a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.